to be the exact surface area of the propellant. This is a 600 gallon cake mixer, essentially. It's a propellant mixer, but it actually works just like a giant cake mixer. Get a look at the consistency of that propellant, kind of like cookie dough, as I mentioned. And there is that 600 gallon mixer. And it takes many, many of those 600 gallon mixers to fill up the entire rocket motor. Approximately 45 mixes per segment. Opening the valve for the rocket motor propellant to come down into the rocket motor. It's cast under vacuum to remove all the gases that are in the propellant. You get a look at what it looks like there. And you look at the top interface of the rocket motor and that's actually cured rocket motor propellant right there. The surface of the pellet is being trimmed to the exact dimensions that are required. And there all you see that sort of light pink or purple color is rocket motor propellant and that's a good look at the consistency of the cured propellant. This is a poured inhibitor, acts as the liner for the propellant between the segments. And there you see the rocket motor segment with the inhibitor on the propellant in its final condition. Now they prepared this to remove the core tooling. Notice that the fins did not come out just yet with that core tooling. This device being put in place to extract the fins, and there's a fin being extracted now. We're still at T minus 20 seconds and holding. When we get a better understanding of the situation,